today is my day three in Budapest. I have spent two nights here already. Yesterday I went sightseeing with my dear friend. She showed me around town and at night time we went to a ruin bar which was my first time ever visiting a place like that. The specific one I went to is called Simpla and that one is probably the most over the top <laughs> most decorated lights everywhere the mixture of old and new and vintage and lights and everything and weird and it's just like a weird overload but it all comes together and looks really good it's a lot of stuff um all put together but it really looks good at the end and like I said I hadn't seen anything like that before so that was such a great experience if you're ever in Budapest and you are wondering what to do especially at nighttime I recommend a ruin bar the plan today is to just go out to lunch with my friend and maybe do a little bit more sightseeing it is quite hot so we can't do as much as we would normally want to because it's really hot um, at this time of the year, but I am having a great time so far. So I hope you enjoy what I have coming up Okay, so this is St. Matthias Church mm -hmm. and it was it's named after one of our very very f famous kings it was loved by the nation It was definitely was renovated um, Not too long ago. Yeah, but it's not as old, but it's not that new I Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. The shape of Budapest is like this is the river mm -hmm. and this is Buda mm -hmm. and this is, this is Pest. So Pest is a little bit larger in size. Mm -hmm. It's perfect to get a sense of where things are. You can see that, you can see that. Out in the speakers, you and me can I marry you right? Wednesday so about four five about five nights so far and it's been um, it's been a great experience I have enjoyed being a tourist in a place where a local is able to show me around okay, I am going to meet up with my friend and we are taking a boat bus tour Thank you. Today the last tour at uh, 5.30. But we have you have one at 2 o'clock, right? Two, two, today? 2.30. Oh, 2.30, excuse me, yes. yes. Yeah, that's, that's the one we want. Sightseeing on land and water. Touristy, very the most, touristy. Yeah, they're very touristy. Why not? This <laughs> is a normal ride, a okay. bus ride, and at certain points we will splash into the water <laughs> because this is a bus slash boat. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> we'll see. Show the people about this. You <laughs> 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 think? So, 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 yeah, so the different languages. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello and welcome on board, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aniko. Our captain is Attila, and we have a sailor on board as well. <laughs> here in the device, you will hear everything. You can choose the channel on the device, and you can adjust the volume as well. The guiding will start automatically, and you will hear everything in your headphones. Köszönjük szépen, hogy örünk tartottak, és további szép napot kívánok, viszontlátásra a Fidezén. Thank you very much, bye bye. Wow, this is so cute. Look at this. It's all for us. It's all ours. Look at this. And I'm short, I'm very short. Sit here with all your friends and have this whole area. Ez az N1-es metró a mexikói. But a historian who's, who doesn't have a name, but he wrote down the first official historical notes on the Hungarian nation. As he's called anonymous. <laughs> I think it unknown doesn't have a name. Yeah. Okay. He was a historian. Okay. Back in 1900 something or okay. 2000. There was no written history before that in Hungary. So when the when uh, Saint Stephen the first uh, put the Christian uh, Catholic, Catholic Church. Priests and monks came along and they had the written, like they were basically the historians then, because before that there were no written history. So oh my god, it's enchanting! Yes, <laughs> it's like you're in, yes, it's it's like you're in a storybook, yes. like one of those in the Yes! Oh. yes. <laughs> Yeah, it looks very nice for a nice picnic or just to relax, sit down, read a book, ride mm -hmm. a bike. She's called Booby, the 
Hungarian public uh, bicycle is called Booby. Booby. What do you call two Only of one. them? <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but like I think those people who <laughs> decided on the name didn't speak any English. my last night here in Budapest I have had an amazing time here just getting to know the city hanging out with my friend um, eating the food both the local food and the international food today we're going to do dinner um, go out for a little bit walk around wrap up my week I can't believe I have been here for one whole week and it's gone by pretty pretty fast but it's been an amazing time tomorrow i am leaving in the afternoon to catch my train first to vienna and then the train is going to go directly from vienna to rome it's an overnight train uh, so yeah it should be fun this has to be recorded because whoa <laughs> I am actually heading out in three minutes. My train is leaving from the Budapest Central Station directly to Vienna. And from Vienna, I have a few hours layover and then I catch my next train, which leads me directly to Rome, Italy. Saying goodbye. Peach, hello, I know what's happening. Come with me. Okay. Oops, right in the toilet. Yes. 